Hi, my name is Kevin, and I'd like to introduce you to my After Effects script, MatchRate. What is MatchRate? MatchRate is an After Effects script that can calculate the rate of change between two keyframes, and with it, generate new keyframes. What are some reasons to use MatchRate? With MatchRate, you can extend layer animation in both directions. You can apply easing to extended animations. You can transfer one or all of the rates in a property to other properties. You can transfer rates to other layers and their properties. You can invert rates for stylish or physically accurate animations. And finally, you can factor percentages of rates, meaning you could have your target layer go half as fast or a third as fast as your source layer. Let's see it in action. Okay, in this composition, I have an example of a camera move. This was the reason why I developed match rate as a script was because I wanted to sometimes keep the camera rate, uh, camera moves rate the same, uh, but it wasn't uh, uh, long enough or it didn't start far enough back. So um, yeah, so that it started like this. And so I wanted to show you an example using this camera. So I have a camera moving in a 3D space. And so that means that all of these dimensions are being animated at once. If I choose my keyframes, move them to one second, choose get rate, then hit apply. I've moved my camera back and it will now move at the same rate as before. And then of course, if I wanted to extend it, same thing, and could even delete these keyframes. In this example, I have a wheel moving in the X axis. You can see it's at 400 at one second. I'd like to get that rate and apply it to another property, to the rotation. The way I do that is select two keyframes, choose get rate, you can see it says it's 400 per second, and then I'd like to apply it to the rotation. Well, if I hit apply, nothing happens. And the reason for that is it's applying position Z to the Z of the target. And why is that? Well, the rotation, if I turn on 3D, you can see is representative of the Z dimension of the rotation. Now this position is a three dimensional property while rotation is just a one dimensional property. So if you're copying the rates from a 3D to a 1D, so that would include rotation that, or Z rotation, that would include uh, opacity, anything with percentages as uh, its uh, data type, um, so match rate accounts for this and all you need to do is just turn off the other dimensions so now match rate would apply 400 per second to anything that's checked. So we want to target the Z. So if I choose one keyframe and then I move my playhead to where I'd like my new keyframe, hit apply, you can see now it's applied that 400 per second. So it's 360 degrees, one rotation plus 40, 400 per second. And if I play it, my wheel is rotating and moving along at that rate. Okay, great. Now let's say I'd like to animate this road, which is built with effects uh, at the, in the opposite direction at that same rate. Well, the way I do that is first, let me show you how this is built. It's in 3D space and it's rotated. Then I applied this reptile effect. And then the way I would animate it is using this offset effect. So let me create a keyframe, then go to one second. And if I was to, uh, uh, first I need to change my target to the X that's the direction that this road would be moving. So I choose X. And if I hit apply, the road moves at this in the same direction as 
the wheel. Well, I'd like it to go in the opposite direction. So all I have to do is click this invert button, then hit apply, and now it's moving in the opposite direction. So in this example, we saw we started with this position animation, then applied the rate to the rotation, and then applied to this effects parameter shift center two. In this composition, I have two gears, a driver gear and a driven gear. The driven gear is twice as large as the driver gear, and it has twice as many teeth. So this would be a two to one ratio. The way we would animate this using match rate is we'd select these two keyframes, choose get rate. You can see it's rotating at 360 degrees per second. And if I want to apply that rate to this driven gear, I create a keyframe, move my playhead to where I'd like my new keyframe, and then in order to spin this, I'd need to first spin it in the opposite direction as the driver gear. So this is going to turn this direction, or sorry, I think it's turning counterclockwise, and that would mean this one would be turning clockwise. So first I would invert it. Well, the other thing I need to do is with a two to one ratio, that means that this one is rotating at half the speed as the driver gear. So I can also apply 50% to this minus 360 per second. And I have my keyframe selected and I click apply rate. And now my gears are rotating as they should. Another way I've used match rate is with titles. I saw this cinematic title animation where the person's name was moving in the opposite direction as what their role was in the film. And so I wanted to replicate this and used match rate to do it. The way you do it is simply by selecting the two position keyframes, choosing get rate. You can see it's moving at minus 25.2 pixels per second. Then we just would need to create a keyframe on position, which I already have. And then just click invert and apply rate. And now we have this cinematic title treatment. In this final example, I wanted to show how you could create 2D parallax without using a 3D camera using match rate. There might be a multitude of reasons you can't use a camera uh, with your project. Say for example, if you have vector objects or layer styles and you don't want to pre-compose. Also 3D cameras are more processor intensive and this is a way to achieve the same effect. So uh, it's very simple. All you would do is choose your foreground layer. I have this uh, cactus animating in the foreground. If I choose my keyframes and choose get rate, got that here. And I'm just gonna be applying this position to all of these layers at different percentages. So I don't need to worry about these check boxes here because they're going from 3D to 3D to 3D, all of these uh, uh, properties. Okay, so I've got my rate, then I just need to choose this keyframe, move my playhead to where I'd like to apply this new keyframe. And let's say I just want these mountains in the background, they're probably pretty far away. I'd uh, set them to 10%. And then the sun, I'm going to go ahead and say something like 5%. So now if I play this animation, I have a nice parallax effect that was done using no 3D cameras, using vector objects, and uh, using match rate. All right, thank you very much for watching this video on match rate. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email me at kevin at blastframe.com. Hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy it.